Now, Pakistan's security services have been lambasted by an official inquiry for their comprehensive failure to detect the fact that the al-Qaeda leader, Osama bin Laden, had been living in their country for almost a decade. Bin Laden was eventually shot dead by American special forces, who raided his compound in about about two years ago. But a leaked inquiry report has revealed that on one occasion, Pakistan police actually stopped bin Laden's car for speeding, but failed to recognize him. Kylie Morris has this report. If you thought Hollywood had the full story on Osama bin Laden, think again. Two years after America's stealth raid on the Abbottabad compound that killed the al-Qaeda leader, an independent commission in Pakistan has raked through testimony to uncover more detail of how the bin Ladens lived and examine the role played by both Pakistan and the US. Its report, published online by Al Jazeera, is scathing in its criticism of Pakistan's security and government apparatus. They failed to detect the world's most notorious terrorist for nine years. It describes complacency, inefficiency and negligence within the military and the country's main intelligence agency. And in tones... How the entire neighbourhood, local officials, police, security, intelligence officials all missed the size, the strange shape, the barbed wire, the lack of cars and visitors, over a period of nearly six years, beggars belief. The police get special mention. It was a hapless policeman, after all, who in 2003 stopped a car in a bazaar in the Swat Valley for speeding. Inside the car, the bodyguards and family of Osama bin Laden, as well as the man himself. According to one of his bodyguard's wives... Her husband very quickly settled the matter with the policeman and they drove on. She says bin Laden was cleanly shaven at the time. American drones had filmed the sheikh wearing white robes in Afghanistan in 2000. By the time he'd escaped to Abbottabad, he developed a taste for hats. According to the account given by his wives, bin Laden wore... A cowboy hat to avoid detection from above. Whenever he was feeling sluggish, he would take some chocolate with an apple. Osama himself seems to have performed the role of many a grandparent, assisting in the care of his grandchildren. He personally saw to their religious education and supervised playtime. His duties... ...included cultivating vegetable plots with simple prizes for best performances. But there were no playdates. The families lived in virtual isolation throughout their six years until the Americans came calling. The report's authors accuse the Americans of behaving like criminal thugs. It calls the May 2nd attack on the compound an act of war which illustrates its arrogance. But for the first time, the former head of intelligence for Pakistan admits a political understanding that allows the CIA to deploy drones over Pakistan. These revelations will not help American-Pakistan relations and could encourage any insurgents looking for a hideout that Pakistan is a good place to start.